So this is Crusader. Let's look at the briefing. British are stubborn and counter-attacking. Big force of British air. I am spread out a bit. I must get all the victory access. And I must not be allowed to link up with the brook. Okay. Yes, that seems reasonable enough. Not a lot of infantry terrain, so deploy in a crescent here, blunt the attack, establish a line and then roll east. I think that's as good a plan as any. Okay, so here we have a new a relatively interesting uh, hero. Uh, not zero slot top tier, but uh, definitely a good one if used uh, correctly. Um, this one has anti-tank support, so you can stick in on one of your units and it will act like an anti-tank unit. Um, so I think we can use him. But first we need to assign our troops. And I don't think we will need a lot of infantry for this, so the Jaegers go back into the reserve. Let's see if we have some new stash, yes. Okay. Very minor upgrade, but why not? Suddenly we have two, I don't know what, this is probably Mountain on a check 35, I think, is that what we are trying to say? say? And this is probably a Russian field gun on top there. Uh, this one has higher hard attack and higher initiative, so less defense, but uh, ho ho. Let's take that one. And I will probably stick the anti-tank hero on this guy. But I was also thinking about... Oh. So that will be for later. So I think... I'll just freshen up these guys. Yes, finally. Yes, it's a little bit better. Will never be a, an amazing. This is starting to get good, very dangerous. No more fighters, no. Uh, I was thinking about upgrading this to the 17 centimeter I was talking about because I want another range 4 gun. This will be my close support artillery. You can also see I have this SIG. But why would I pay a lot of points to... No, it's just worse. Okay, it can drive around and shoot, so that it's better for that. But it has only soft support, and its hard attack rating is horrible. So I like what I have here. So I have less infantry, so I need some more units to hold ground, and I will restrengthen it. Add to bask. I'd like another recon. I have deep recon, but... Um, that was mostly just to see how it worked in the new version. Uh, I need a third flak. As you could see, my coverage wasn't... Is this, yes, it works. Last time my coverage wasn't good enough and enemy bombers really hurt me. So, there is that. So, um, heroes. No. Do I want anti-tank support on this guy or do I want anti-tank support on one of the others so they can... I'll put the anti-tank support, it hits so hard, it will be great. I'm not sure if this is the ideal place for this... Uh... 
hero, but we'll let him. I was thinking about maybe moving him here because then it would always use his hard attack rating. Uh, okay, I used the eight of eight slots. I've used up all my heroes, so deployment, I guess. This is uh, okay. This is, would be a natural spot for this guy. I think one anti tank here. And maybe not my best tank. Uh, the tank. What? Uh, okay, that didn't look super good. I think I will just take a screenshot of that and give the developers a little tip. They are very keen to hear from testers. Can this go away, please? Okay, this is an anti-tank unit, this is uh, an artillery, okay, and we need, of course, an anti-air piece. Uh, you could stand here. And I think I will also put my big gun here. Big tank, okay, we can see them coming here. Big guy here. Recon on the outside. This one has anti-tank, so. Something like that. Artillery. And of course, uh, and here, and I will move these together here, so I'm not sure what to do with this area. I don't think, uh, am I supposed to put some troops up here? Uh, I mean, I don't have that many units. These are pioneers. I'm not supposed to be fighting over here. I don't think so. I'll just use one as a blocker here. And another one here. I don't know. But okay, fighters. One goes on top of the nice gun. Here. I think I'll just stick everything down in the corner. And go. Oh, he starts. Okay. Yes, of course, it's a British offensive. Unless you show. The Italians are in trouble. Oh, that's a German. I have a little German bunker with four strength. I only have 10 turns, I think that's the biggest challenge here. Why are they? Okay, interesting. Okay, 4 strength, does 2 kill and 1 suppression against. Hard attack 4. That seems incredibly, incredibly unlikely. Yeah, really good move there. He thought he was being clever and gonna take out my antiman, but I had three, three fighting in support. I'm not trying to whine here, but uh, 
This has seven air defense. It got six kills. So yes, it's possible if it got really, really, really lucky. Okay. So I suppose it got really lucky. That's a good tank. Pretty good. These are cruisers. This is a crusader. Okay, so the crusader is the good tank. But remember, I have less five attack, and the new one has much higher hard attack. So this is not going to do much. First kill for that one. Nice. He got lucky. Should do the trick. This is anti tank support. too much time just sticking around her <clears throat> okay, we need some sort of defense up here.
Uh, let's hope it doesn't come out in force air, but I think it will need a little bit of time to group up and move on. Gambit, Gambit, and by then we should have overrun Gobber Sale and stabilized the front over here. So, uh, not much I can do here, I guess. But I can reinforce just to nothing here. No, not leaving. Yeah, bomb the Italian sound. <laughs> we fixed it up. That's nice. No? Tank again. Okay. Anti-tank support? No, oh, it attacked the tank, it attacked the 20 strength tank, okay. Nice. Um Time to move forward. A little bit too slow here, I think. Yes, I was going to do that first, but I forgot. Didn't see now it could of course walk up here. But 
Ah, pues sale Rift, que yo How about giving me some artillery? Okay, now I have someone in this back area here, so I have to be careful about that. And we need to rebase aircraft forward. Um, oops. Okay, there, there we have one. Could be a problem because he could sneak around my back here. Can I reach him? Yes, I think I have to do this. I don't think I have any that are quite fast enough to catch him. Charge, no. Try not to be. Pioneer, Pioneer, okay. So after a quick trip to the gym, I'm back in the desert, so let's see if I've forgotten anything terminally important. It's surrounded so it can't reinforce, it's slowly dying. It can move out, but nothing good will come of that. So this is the only auxiliary unit left to me. This is a 
a recon so it can sneak around here and maybe attack this one then it will get artillery in the face and I 88 so that will kill it so I have one plane here that repaired and this bunch is uh, hurrying east but you see I have I think a good amount of uh, is reduced to half kills one point of my least valuable unit if you sometimes hear sound dropping off the music that's because i'm clicking outside the screen Ah, okay, he saw my unescorted. Uh, that was a mistake. But mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. So, okay, let's see here. I think we'll start by hammering him. I got a little medal. I think I want to take down all these guys. Yeah. Goodbye. So there you... Uh, I think I'll repair this later. I'll just move it over here. So yeah, it was four strength, so it, it couldn't really do much. So now, and now of course, the big speed master, it turns out to be valuable. Because it could just reach it. So this is of course a very strong force. I'm not sure how good the Valentine is. Uh, semi good. Okay. So this could could give me some trouble. We have other and more pressing concerns over here. <laughs> this one has no retaliation, remember. This one blocks tanks from moving, so it creates a, a little stopper there. That's bait. Good enough. Some extra backup there. Can't really get around here, it would have to one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Maybe it could I don't know. Yeah, this one. Now we definitely can't get around me. So this is this is peculiar. These guys are almost starved to death, and the AI has managed to clear them yet. That should do the trick, I hope. Yeah, now he surrenders. Okay, 
He just used a couple of rounds and now he has the right units. And yes. We're moving to the open. Now we have some uh, on some planes all the way back here I don't think it's worth it so we will no wait but there is another airfield so okay we basically can't be undone okay this one was m much smarter <laughs> Set to pair. So we can move around. Okay, so another break in the gameplay. I usually try to complete the scenario from setup to end in one sitting because otherwise it's so easy to get distracted. But today there is no end of distractions, it seems. So it is turn five and I have mostly broken through. We have two more victory hexes here. I don't anticipate any trouble taking and this one is uh, empty. These two are relatively likely. If I'm dead I should just blow through here and finish up this region near the end. So I don't think I have any more attacks going on because there are no good setups here. I was just going to get my units around so and turn okay it makes an okay but then uh, next time I play I will play on general or even field marshal because then the AI will have at least some more incentive to to attack 
I currently is uh, a little bit passive, but that is partially my own fault for setting up. Uh, if you look at this, this is just a death trap to attack. So, I know, of course, they here. There's one, and I have one more there. A Lysander. That has to be some sort of weak on plane. Okay, let's just take him down. Now, the only challenge to my hegemony here is this anti air unit. Uh, we will first hit with an artillery strike. And I will move around. This gun has no hard support, uh, so it's just a little little gun. I'm not sure how little uh, it's a little gun. So and suddenly the road to this area here is wide open. And I think I will start by... Yes, it has some support, but this is three stretches that are pretty much irrelevant. And I will finish up this Moving on. Complete my encirclement here and then remove this pesky artillery piece. One strike, so won't do anything. I have plenty of time, so there is no particular rush in this case. Now, my favorite tank here. Back with full ammunition. That's a triple overrun there. And now I will move it here. Now they support each other with anti tank. And I think. Okay, let's wait with the rest there. Okay, so here we have a peculiar situation. Just have to dig the enemy out. No, I, it wasn't that peculiar. I just, for some reason, I was sure it was a, a fortified hexa village or something. But that was not. This Valentine here, he could maybe move around me, I don't think he can. Let's not get too cocky, there could be stuff in the in this region still. But I could do that. I can just wait. Two seven. Ah, it's pretty good. Ones. Dogs. It 
has too good uh, ground defense to really do much against it. And now I will punish this guy. And I think this guy and this dude here, he's uh, This one strength tank can't hurt this one, backed by beacon and the other artillery piece, of course. Just can't be done. Okay, so time to dislodge this little guy. Time to overrun. Goodbye. I like these new wheel pucks. They are a good deal better than what I had before. So I have this infantry unit here that I want to get rid of. Surrenders because it has no movement points, remember? I finally got to use that guy again. Tank, and this has anti-tank support. Anti-tank support. Some air cover here. Yeah, I'll use this one for capture. This one will go wide just in case. No, there is nothing here. I think I pretty much can guarantee that. I wonder if there are any units in Tobruk. So... That's good enough, I think. And I'm gonna go for this anti-tank unit. But because of suppression, they are not able to do anything of anything. I think you can have any more aircraft left.
Oh. I have more than enough firepower here. I don't think it must be too much. So that's the last flag, I think, yes. I don't think I can reach all the way. No. So, let's do this. And this. And this, I suppose. 